Welcome to another video in our How to DJ with Tractor Pro 2 series. In this video, we're going to be talking about beat grids. Now that you've analyzed your tracks, you should have the waveform data and a BPM reading. I've loaded up a track here on the left deck, and we're going to be going through how to do a proper beat grid. First thing you want to make sure is that your BPM for the track is set correctly, as this will determine the spacing of the beat grid itself. You can see here that Tractor has gotten very close to the correct BPM, but it is a little bit off. It's at 134.994, and it's supposed to be at 135. You can easily correct this by simply double clicking on the number, entering in the new BPM, and hitting enter. Now our beat grid, when we place it, will be at exactly 135 BPM. You can see the tractor has determined where it thinks the beats are with these white lines here. But we're going to go in and create our own beat grid, and that will tell Tractor exactly where all of the beats are. One of the great new features of Tractor Pro 2 is that you can zoom in much farther than you could in Tractor Pro 1. So let's zoom in all the way by pressing this plus button here. Now that we've zoomed in so that we can really see where the first beat starts, we're going to move the beat closest to the track indicator that you see in the center. So we'll just click and drag so that we get as close as we can to the very first beat. And it's okay if you leave a little bit of space, as Tractor will take that into account. Next, we're going to hit this button here to add the grid. You can see that what Tractor thought were the beats was actually incorrect. And those are now gone now that we have our grid. We've got the first beat lined up correctly. But to make sure that the beat grid is correct throughout the track, let's take a look at some of the other beats in the track. I'm going to use the skip beat function on my MIDI controller, and we'll go through a few of the first beats. You can see that all of the beats line up exactly with the track indicator in the center. If there's a large gap between the track indicator and the beat, you'll need to realign your first beat grid marker. But that's just the front of the track. We want to make sure that it stays consistent throughout. If you have snap turned on, simply click at various points within the track. You can see that all the way through the track, and especially at the end, that the track indicator and the beats line up correctly. If you want, you can test whether this is correct by turning on the metronome with this little headphones icon and listening to the track as you play it to make sure that there aren't any inconsistencies. And when you're finally happy with your beat grid, make sure to click this padlock icon to lock the beat grid. That will ensure that the beat grid is locked and that you can't accidentally change it in the middle of your mix. So that's a basic overview of how to beat grid your tracks in Tractor Pro 2. Stay tuned for more videos on Tractor Pro 2, and check out all of our other videos at thedjpodcast.com. Thanks for watching.